happen because there's an active infection going on, or it can happen because there's been an infection there that's caused the immune system to make inflammation in the brain. Those are the two most common ways. Would well, that show up and not show up in the spinal thing? No, not is necessarily. Is there any kind of test for it, or is it just um, a... You know, there are a multitude of things that can cause encephalitis, and a few of those you can test for. Okay? Uh, so all these, you can't. Can you get it from mosquito bites? <coughs> You can get it from viruses that are carried in mosquitoes. Because he gets, she gets, she gets a lot of those. Yeah. yeah. You certainly can. West Nile virus, West Nile encephalitis can actually do that. You've probably heard of West Nile. West Nile. Yeah, People I was going to ask them if they would It can cause that. that. Um, and it can cause uh, a post-infectious encephalitis as well. So I think our first step is going to be we got to get an MRI and see what it looks like. Because that's going to tell us a whole lot. Would okay. the MRI um, tell you? Will that be the test that would tell you if it is encephalitis for sure? Um, anytime you say for sure to somebody in the medical <laughs> profession, they're probably going to say yeah. there's always an except. Yes. Okay? okay? There are very few for sure's out there. You're right. If we see what is typical of encephalitis on the MRI, we're all going to feel like this fits encephalitis, the MRI fits encephalitis, and then we can start looking for the multitude of things we can look for. The fact of the matter is... All of those things I just talked to you about, yeah. we wait on the body to recover from. We don't do anything to treat them because there's Not nothing the you can the do. the encephalitis you can't? Okay. Yeah, he there's just needs to be There's one kind of encephalitis you can treat, and that's herpes encephalitis. His spinal fluid didn't look anything like herpes encephalitis looks. Thank goodness for that. So. so and there's yeah. nothing to do with them. Just keep them in the care you, of you guys. You, <laughs> yeah. You support them. You know, sometimes they need nutrition for a while. They need IV fluids. They need... You know things like that to be sure they don't get sick um, from something else to be sure they don't lose too much weight and things like that um, but but the body recovers from those things but you're saying um, too that I don't know much about encephalitis so it does like swell the brain does that it, have to be watched in case swells, something needs to but it's not the same kind of swelling like people um, get who have to have like tubes put in to relieve pressure it's um, more of a swelling that occurs. Um, so you've probably heard of people who get swelling where they have to go in and put a tube yeah, to drain from all the Yeah, a car accident or yeah. something. Oh, yeah. So it's not that kind of swelling. It's more of a localized swelling around the blood vessels and um, in the deep parts of the brain that make you feel confused and drunk. Oh. Okay. So it's not the kind usually that, that will swell your brain to the point that your brain can't stay in your head. It's just localized <laughs> inflammation, okay. if you will. So right. the difference in having like a big abscess on your leg that swells to the point of bursting and having just a red infected scab or something that gets red and inflamed. That's the difference. Okay. Okay. So I think his exam fits for that. And um, the first step is the MRI. Because if the MRI doesn't look like that, then we've got to go down a completely different path. But I think um, once we get the MRI, that will tell us if we're thinking the right thing. And so that doesn't cause any pain, though? Um, it can cause a headache. Certainly oh, headache. adults who get it, yeah. um, adults who have encephalitis, will tell you that, man, I felt drunk and I had the most horrendous headache in the world. So if he gets Tylenol or something, mm -hmm. it'll help with that? Yeah, but if he's sleeping through it, then he's Let's probably see, not in a lot of pain. Why anybody said this before? You know what I'm saying? Like, why hasn't it been a... Because this is the same exact thing as he's been doing the last three days, you know, so why hasn't it been an issue since he's been here? Or a question? I wish I could answer that, but having not even heard of him until about 10 minutes ago, <laughs> I can't tell you that. Because yeah, he was I in the can, ICU. And I yeah. Can, yeah, I can tell you that encephalitis is very hard to diagnose without an MRI. Um, there are a few of us, particularly neurologists and infectious disease doctors, who are more likely to have seen it a lot than other people. Um, because of our subspecialties and what we do. And so some people won't necessarily recognize it. Yeah. It's um, so maybe like that's part of what you're dealing with. But either There's way, it's not like something that could have been treated yesterday or the day before that's something that's going to have to... If it's what I'm thinking we're going to find out, it's going to be something that we wouldn't have treated three days ago and we're not going to treat tomorrow. It's going to be something that his body's going to have to recover from. I just I want him to get better, you know. That's why we're, that's why we're here. It's just Absolutely, and it's frustrating when he's not. And it would be a little easier to accept if I could hand you a piece of paper and say, "This is what he's got." This is it. Yeah, yeah. black and white. This, this is what's going to happen. Expect this. All right. Well, then we'll we'll deal with it. You know, we'll it's 
If I could do that, I would. Believe me, I have kids of my own, so I, I know a little bit of how you're feeling. Um, and I've seen a lot of encephalitis in my days, and you are not the only person who has had a child with encephalitis who has felt that way. So that's completely valid and appropriate, and I'd be worried about you if you had a different view, okay? So, um, so believe me when I say, I, I know what you're saying. Um, if we can get